Hello everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks very much for joining me. Today I'm doing the assembly tutorial for the 8 ounce coffee cup and the cup tray. I'll also be featuring the 4 ounce coffee cup. This project has been designed by Nicole Silhouette here on YouTube and I shall link her YouTube channel in the description box below. The coffee cups in the tray are available as digital cutting files in Nicole's Etsy store and will also be available as cutting dies in the KS Craft Lovers store and I shall link all of those in the description box below. For today's tutorial I'm going to be using the digital cutting files. So we'll get started and I've got all my pieces cut out and I shall go through them with you now. So I have the pieces here for the 8 ounce coffee cup and there are two pieces that look like this. They are identical and you can see where I've gone ahead and put the double sided tape along the glue tabs. Both pieces are the same. The tabs here, this side piece and on the back of those top pieces. Next up we have these pieces that make the sleeve that go around the outside of the coffee cup and you can see where I've put the double sided tape. These pieces here are the base of the coffee cup and there is one that is bigger than the other. This smaller one has a mark on it so that you can identify that it's a layering piece. So the small one is the layering piece that goes on the inside. Next up we have the pieces for the lid and these are similar to the pieces on the base of the cup and again we have one that is smaller which is the layering piece and a bigger one which is the top of the lid. Then we have 12 pieces that look like this and you can see where I've put the tape on the glue tabs and on the back of that very bottom glue tab there. The folds for this piece go like this with mountain, valley, mountain and mountain and these side ones fold down like so. So I'll go through that again, mountain, valley, mountain, mountain and the side ones are mountains, they fold down. These are the decorative panels that go on the outside of the coffee cup. This little piece here is the mouthpiece and I've cut that three times and stacked them on top of each other so for a little bit of dimension. The other piece at the top right there, I won't be using that piece, I do change it and it's not part of the die set or the cutting file. So I won't need to show you that just yet. So to begin with we're going to join these two pieces together and I'm taking care to line these up as precisely as I can before pressing it down into place. Then I'm going to close the shape up all together, taking care to make sure it's as aligned as I can get it. These tabs at the top will fold down and I'm going to take the backings off the adhesive on all of those top pieces and fold them down against the inside of the top of the cup. This is going to give the rim of your cup a little bit of strength. So that's what that looks like and now we'll put the base of the coffee cup on and I'm going to take the shape that is the larger of the two. The smaller one is the layering piece so I'm using the larger piece and I'm going to attach it to one glue tab first making sure it gets a good hold and then swap over to the opposite side and stick that down in place. This ensures that this bottom piece goes in place as precisely as possible and I'll continue on in that fashion around the edge of the cup attaching those glue tabs to the base and you can see that I'm just slipping the pokey tool in underneath to remove the backings off the adhesive before pressing the base down onto the glue tab. You can use glue if you like, but it's a lot easier to use double sided tape. So I'm just making sure that I'm getting all of those glue tabs stuck down to the base of the coffee cup. Once they're all stuck down, I'm going to press them down from the inside, making sure that those glue tabs have got a good hold. And you can see our coffee cup starting to take shape. Next up, I'll take this smaller layering piece and apply some glue. 
and put it into position in the bottom of the inside of the coffee cup using my pokey tool to assist me to align it in the right position and then pressing it down then I'm going to get the decorative layers and I'm going to put them into position on the outside of the coffee cup and I always use glue for my decorative layers that way I've got the wriggle room to maneuver them so that they're in position nicely So just getting these last ones in place before moving on. And you can see that I've chosen fairly neutral colours for my coffee cup. But you can do yours in any colours that you like. So I'm going to move on now and make the lid. And we've got the pieces here for the lid. We've got the top piece, the inside layering piece and these side pieces there are 12. Just reinforcing the folds these folds are mountain valley mountain mountain and the sides tabs are mountain folds i'm going to remove the backings off the adhesive and join the pieces together one by one all the pieces are the same and they go together in the same way and as you're joining these together you assist these pieces in making the shape of the top of the coffee cup as i'm showing here So we'll go ahead and we'll do that with all the remaining pieces. Taking care to be as precise as you can and assisting the pieces to create the shape of the coffee cup lid. The folds really do assist with creating that shape and it does make it easier when you're putting this all together. You just need to take a little bit of time, make sure you can be as precise as you can. Just putting that last one into place and then I'll join the shape up. And it looks like so. Next up we have the piece that's going to be the top and then there's the layering piece which is the smaller one. I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to use the bigger piece and put that into position onto these glue tabs. I'm going to take the backings off one glue tab first and then go over to the opposite side as I did before and fix that into position and then I'll go around and I'll do the same thing all the way around one side then over to the opposite side to get all these glue tabs affixed to the underneath side of the top of the lid. You can see that I'm putting the pokey tool in underneath to pick the backing of the adhesive away and then pressing it down into place. And then just checking with my pokey tool to make sure they've all adhered and going to back to adhere them, the ones that, need that I've missed. Then I'll press it down into place making sure that all the glue tabs have got a good stick. And you can see that our lid's now starting to take shape. And I'm going to take the smaller layering piece and I'm going to apply some glue and glue that on the inside of the lid. Just lining it up, making sure it's in good position and then pressing it down. And we still have some glue tabs along that bottom edge of the lid. And I'm going to remove the backings of the adhesive and press them down against the inside edge there. This is going to give that bottom rim of your lid some extra strength. So I'm just going to go around and do all those, fold them in and against that inside edge. I'm going to make sure that they all get a good stick before moving on. So that's our lid. And it's looking good. And it's time to do a fit test onto the cup. Now with any of the lids that we make with our paper craft projects, it always takes a little bit of finagling the first time you put the lid on. But don't let that deter you, just persevere. And the first couple of times you put the lid on, you might need to fiddle around with it a little bit, but then it will be good after that. 
So you can see that's our coffee cup. It's a snug fit, so if you put anything inside it, it won't fall out. So this is the second time, just a little bit of finagling to get it into position, and that should be good. And it does not come off. So I went ahead off camera and I've decorated my coffee cup and you can see that I did change that decorative piece. So I've put a heart in the centre instead of the coffee beans. I just liked the look of the heart a little bit better. And you can see it's very three dimensional. I've used foam dots to really pop that out. So this decorative piece that I've put on this cup, it's something that I've done myself. I've just used circle dies and some stars and some hearts that I've got in my stash. It's not part of the cutting die set and not part of the cutting file set. So if you want to do something like this, you'll have to make it yourself. So I did go ahead and make two coffee cups. So I had a matching pair. And it's got the word across the middle there of the hearts that says enjoy. And you can also see where I put the little mouthpiece. I glued that piece onto the top of the lid. So I also have the four ounce cup here. Which is the smaller one. And this goes together in exactly the same way as the 8 ounce one. The only difference is the cup is smaller. And for my smaller one, my 4 ounce one here, I've just kept the top of the lid the same colour as what I did the sleeve. Just for something different and I didn't add any extra decorations to it. Next up I have the cup holder tray here. And this is made up of three pieces and I shall show those to you now. So we have three pieces here and I've cut mine in dark brown, cream and the craft cardstock. The dark brown layer is the bottom layer and it has sort of like handles. And the cream layer is the centre main layering piece. And that gets laid directly over the top. And then we just have the decorative craft trim pieces here. You could cut yours from any paper that you like. I just wanted mine to match the cups that I have made. So that just goes into position like so. And then we have the pieces that go around the openings. Just taking care to line that up precisely and that's our cup holder tray so I've got the cup holder tray here and I'm going to put my 8 ounce coffee cups the large ones into the openings and they fit in there quite well and it makes a handy little tray to carry those around so I also made another one for the four ounce coffee cups they actually fit down a little bit further than the larger eight ounce coffee cups but you can use the same tray for both sizes I've got them both here to show you They fit in there quite well. So that's my tutorial finished for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching and that you feel inspired to make these coffee cups either in the 8 ounce or the 4 ounce size. And if you do make them, don't forget to share them on Nicole's Facebook group. You can also tag her on Instagram. Her handle is at Nicole's Paper Crafts. I also would love to see what you make. You can tag me on Instagram too. My handle is at TF's Paper Crafts. Don't forget to check the description box down below for the links that I've previously mentioned. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would really love that too. Thanks very much for watching today. Have a great day and until next time, it's bye for now.